Have you ever wondered why your African folktales channel is struggling to keep its audience engaged? You're not alone. Many creators face the same uphill battle, but what sets successful channels apart from those that languish in obscurity? In this video, we delve deep into the reasons why your channel may be faltering and what you can do to revitalize it. What if I told you that your unique voice and storytelling could captivate thousands, yet it's hidden behind a few simple missteps? Let's explore this together. Why is there soap in your eyes when you have water all around you? This metaphorical question perfectly captures the confusion many creators feel. You have the resources, the stories, and the passion, yet the results don't reflect your efforts. The truth is, sometimes the answers are right in front of us, but we're too close to see them. What would you do differently if you were to start another folk tales channel? This is a critical question to consider. Reflect on your current approach. Are you targeting the right audience? Have you chosen the most engaging stories? Are you presenting them in a way that resonates with modern viewers? We will dissect the big folk tales channels that are raking in thousands of dollars with their vast viewership, why is their success so starkly different from yours? It's not just luck, it's strategy. Successful channels know how to tap into trends, engage their audiences, and utilize effective marketing techniques. We'll break down their secrets and show you how you can implement them too. Have you noticed that your content feels stale or repetitive? This can be a major turnoff for viewers. In this video, I'll help you identify the patterns that may be putting your audience to sleep. Are your stories compelling enough? Are you using visuals and sound effectively to enhance the storytelling experience? Are you making your folk tales relatable and engaging for a contemporary audience? Perhaps it's time to rethink your narrative style. Incorporating humor, emotional depth, or even modern contexts can breathe new life into your folk tales. What about consistency? Are you posting regularly? Audiences crave routine, and your sporadic uploads may leave them feeling disconnected. We'll discuss effective scheduling strategies that can help keep your audience coming back for more. Lastly, what are you doing to build community around your channel? Engagement is key. Are you responding to comments, creating polls, or encouraging viewers to share their own stories? This interaction fosters loyalty and can significantly enhance your channel's visibility. Let's unlock the potential of your African Folktales channel together and ensure it thrives in the digital age. Stay tuned to discover how small changes can lead to significant growth. If you are new to this channel, I would like you to subscribe even, comment and like regularly, as I do giveaways regularly to my audience and you can just be that person. I want to let you know that you are the best of your kind, and no matter what anyone says, I need you to believe in yourself and keep keeping on. So let us dive into what we have for today. The answer to the reason why your African Folktales channel is dying might just surprise you. Number one, your mindset. Take a moment and think about it. Can you really see your own mindset? If you can, drop a comment below saying, I can see my mind. But if you can't, here's a thought to ponder. What you can't see is often far more significant than what you think you can. From the moment you named your channel, it was born from your thoughts and aspirations. This channel needs your unwavering belief to truly flourish. The second you let doubt creep in, it's like throwing a wrench into the gears of your creativity and success. Disbelief is a powerful force. It can dim the brightest intentions and stall your progress. Have you noticed those channels that seem to be soaring? It's easy to fall into the trap of comparing your newborn channel to theirs. But remember, your channel is unique. Instead of doubting its potential, nurture it and believe in its journey. The key is to shift your mindset. It all begins from within. If you can't align your thoughts positively, how can you expect to see that reflected in your channel's growth? So I challenge you, stand firm with your channel, resist the temptation to compare, and instead, draw inspiration from those thriving channels. Embrace your unique path and keep pushing forward. Your mindset is the first step to unlocking the success waiting just around the corner. Number two, your images. Before opening your channel, where did you see your channel going? Did you ever imagine it reaching out to people all over the world, or you just limited it to you and your family or your community? If you ever envisioned your channel going round the world, you would know that a quality image is what you use for your folk tales. You and I know so well that images are one of the major aspects of folk tales. Where do you generate your images from? Are you using a pro plan or free plan image generator? No matter the plan you are using, your images are worth upscaling, my friend. You can either upscale your images or upscale your video generation. Never upload without doing this, my friend. What is worth doing is worth doing well. Thrive for perfection. Nobody knows it all, but I believe if you give time to your channel, your channel will in turn yield you back the money you need. In generating your images, you can use Bing Image Creator, Microsoft Designer, Copilot, Meta AI, just to mention a few. Still under this step, 
You must understand that your images must portray what your voiceover is saying. You need to add expressions to your images for maximum result. Let's generate five or six images based on what we want them to do. And after that, I'm going to be upscaling these images one at a time. So we shall be using Bing Image Creator to do this and also using it side by side with Copilot and ChatGPT. The first prompt says, generate a short African folktale story on Kemi, the lover girl who sacrificed her life for her boyfriend in the village of Komama. Make the story 100 words long and separate the story into two chapters. And with the prompt, ChatGPT was able to generate a story of two chapters for us. And the next prompt says, based on the chapter one of this story, generate the scenes for the story. So ChatGPT generates three scenes for chapter one. And the third prompt says, can you generate the images of the scenes accordingly in a photorealistic style? Make it rich texture image. So as you can see, it generate a square image for me, but I needed a landscape image of 16 ratio nine aspect ratio. So I gave it another command to regenerate the image and generate the other two images. Make the image 16 ratio nine. So let's wait as it generates the images for us. So here are the images generated by ChatGPT. So I am indirectly showing you how you can generate images for your folktales using ChatGPT in line with your generated script. If you do not have the paid version of ChatGPT, you can use the free version to generate your folktales in chapters and then ask ChatGPT to generate the prompts for the scenes of a particular chapter. So here is the prompt. Generate the prompt for the three images accordingly. And here is the prompt so I can easily just go to Bing Image Creator to input the prompt generated by ChatGPT. So guys here is the image. So if you are using the paid version of Bing Image Creator or Copilot, your images would be in a landscape format. But if you are using the free version, you can of course use Canva Magic Expand to expand your images, or better still use Microsoft Designer to do that, as it has several aspect ratio for use. So let us head back to ChatGPT to generate the remaining image, and I would like you guys to sit and watch as I go about this. Now that you have your images ready guys, it would be nice to upscale your images, especially if you are using the free version of these AI image generators. Even if you are using the pro version, upscaling your images is very important. So to upscale our images, I will be using this amazing AI tool I found. The name is IRT Image Enhancer. The link will be in the description. When you come to their website, you will have the opportunity to download the app, do so and install. When you scroll through, you have three models of the image enhancers. Model 1 is the more detailed GAN, Model 2 is the smooth diff, and Model 3 is the real photo model. So here is the app where we shall be upscaling our images. The app is going to display the hardware and the AI model. Below the model is the upscaler, so when we click on it we will see several options to upscale our images to. Usually if I want to upscale my image I would use the 8K, but for the purpose of this tutorial I will be upscaling by 2K. So to do the upscale, you would have to click here to upload your image. 
When your image is uploaded, it starts upscaling immediately based on your settings. So we are just going to wait for the upscale to finish up. Once the image is done upscaling, click the run button to download it and here you have it. We shall also be upscaling other images following the same process, so relax as we do this together. Number three, embrace simplicity in your animations. While it's tempting to incorporate complex and flashy techniques, consider that less can truly be more. By utilizing simple fade animations or keyframe zooms, you can create a seamless viewing experience that captivates your audience without overwhelming them. This approach allows viewers to focus on the story being told, letting the narrative and visuals shine without the distraction of excessive movement. When crafting your folktales, remember that clarity is key. The goal is to immerse your audience in the story, enabling them to connect with the characters and themes without straining their eyes or feeling the need to constantly adjust their focus. Simple animations can enhance the emotional impact and help convey the message more effectively. So, as we move forward, let's prioritize a clean and accessible aesthetic. Number four, think, think, and think. The most impactful stories are often those that emerge from the depths of our thoughts and imagination. While it is certainly beneficial to observe and follow current trends, it is equally important to recognize that the trending folk tales and narratives we admire today were crafted by individuals who dared to delve deep into their minds and hearts. These storytellers spent countless hours reflecting, dreaming, and envisioning worlds and characters that resonate with audiences, forging connections that transcend time and culture. In a world increasingly driven by quick content consumption and viral trends, the art of storytelling remains a powerful tool for change and inspiration. When you take the time to develop a unique story rooted in your own experiences and insights, you not only honor the craft but also provide something fresh and original to your audience. While AI can assist in bringing your ideas to life, it is essential to remember that the foundation of a compelling story lies in the human experience. Rather than relying solely on trends or popular narratives, use AI as a partner in your creative journey. Number five, image expressions and poses. Are the images you create truly reflecting the emotions and expressions conveyed in the voiceover, or are they just placeholders? It is crucial to generate images that capture the specific emotions, expressions, and actions of the characters, such as anger, joy, sadness, running, or sitting. The characters' expressions and poses play a significant role in keeping the audience engaged, as they need to resonate with the story on an emotional level. By aligning visuals with the emotions in the narrative, you can create a more compelling and relatable experience for your viewers. So let's go ahead as we generate some images together. Some of the prompts used here will be in the description. Number one, the first prompt says, generate a close shut image of a woman who is scattered everywhere in the house in an angry mood. She is a Nigerian woman wearing vibrant brown Yoruba ethnic attire. She is furious and angry. The home is scattered, television scattered, broken glasses, white smoke all around. A rich texture African art painting. When creating images, it's important to take your time and ensure they truly match the emotions and actions described. Don't settle for less. If the image doesn't feel right, be patient and keep refining until it perfectly aligns with the vision. This approach ensures the visuals connect with your audience emotionally 
I'll be generating more images, so feel free to watch. If you'd like to learn more about my process, you can join my membership. The link is in the description. Let's proceed with generating more images. On this twisted bend, running through my mind, mystery to find. take a close look at each one, you'll notice that they align perfectly with the prompts. While it might take time to achieve this level of accuracy, remember that quality always outweighs quantity, my friend. Seek a mentor and become part of a community. The adage, no one is an island, rings especially true in the realm of storytelling and creative expression. Engaging with a mentor and belonging to a group not only enriches your experience but also significantly enhances your craft. The journey of storytelling is continuous, filled with opportunities to learn, grow and refine your skills and having supportive figures around you can make all the difference. Fix a day and time for posting. You don't have to post daily, you just have to follow the routine of posting consistently according to your set days and time. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you for watching and see you on my next post. Cheers.